Hey guys, I'm on my way to a no cooling call. Y'all are welcome to come with me. So let's go. Thermostat's blank. Yep. Mm. Alright, I'm gonna go get my tools. I'll be right back. Uh, I'm gonna go get my tools. I'll be right back. thermostat so let's check first make sure we got power to 40 to 40 24 volts on the thermostat excuse me on the transformer We got a blown low voltage fuse. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to use any of this because of the music in the background, but I'm plugging up a three amp fuse. All right, it did not pop right away. Let's look at the thermostat. Thermostat is lit up. Fan comes on. jumping from red to my other colors except for brown and um, I'm most specifically interested in yellow we know green's working so here's my yellow separated when I took them apart so I'm going to jump to each one slowly apparently that one was for the air handler Time delay have, may have ended on my that spark. I 
right now that's pulling 0.35 amps. time of year it is not running in heat at all it gets up to about 100 degrees during the day and then in the morning it's like 75 degrees so we have no heat calls no call for heat at all Condenser was running. This is cold. Let's um leave this like this and we're gonna go outside and take a look and see if we see anything. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Some mosquitoes over here. Smokes. <clears throat> All right, where's the spider? I don't see anything rubbing or touching. Right there. Let me go get my stuff, put everything back together. All right, to better show you what I found, right there, that had rubbed all the way through. And I can see the yellow wire right there. Let me get a zip tie and we'll tie that up. All right, look at this disaster right here. We got lizards behind the board. We got, it's either a black widow or a brown widow egg balls all over the place. I'm just waiting for this thing to come on now. It looks like common has been bypassed. Go straight from the thermostat wire to the contactor. 
might have been a reason for that. My normal place is down there. for my my wrench right here I said that it wasn't blowing cold when it was working. So I would be remiss if I didn't check the pressures. time for a new o-ring It looks a little bit small, like it might be 5 sixteenths. The liquid line. It's a small house. I didn't see what size this is. Two and a half ton. Really needs a three eighths. filter grill was dirty but the filter was clean low sub cooling kind of high super heat but it's like 80 degrees in there startup sometimes we do have low self cooling have a THV on it. Let me hold that where y'all can see. 
Now 1.2 is my sub cooling and 22.5 is my superheat. Pressures look normal. I'm gonna watch this for a second before I decide to do anything. My high superheat is starting to slowly come down. Subcooling has not really budged. Head pressure has dropped a little bit. I think I'm gonna recommend coming back and doing a thorough cleaning of this like a preventive maintenance my preventive maintenance is um are a little bit costly but i think we do that clean that filter grill and um we'll have a better idea whether or not we need to charge all right so i did give them an estimate for cleaning the condenser coil thoroughly and cleaning everything out and testing everything and maybe charging it with a little bit of refrigerant and I got approval so I'm going back to that one to give it a thorough cleaning I hope you enjoyed that little video if you did how about like and subscribe and I'll catch you on the next one